So this problem asks us to differentiate between these two symbols. And it's really important to understand the difference here throughout this entire class. So I posted the two meanings on the board here. If S is a set, the notation X is an S means that X is an element of S. So for part A, it's asking, is three an element of this set one, two, three? And the answer is yes, because one of these elements in this set here is three. So three is an element of this set. So A is true. B, however, we have this subset notation. If A and B are sets, then A is called a subset of B, written A as a subset of B, if and only if every element of A is also an element of B. So the problem here with part B is that this right here on the left-hand side of this subset notation is an element, whereas the thing on the right is a set. Subsets is an operation that relates two sets. So both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this notation have to be sets. So an element cannot be a subset of a set. That's not possible. So B is false. C is also false, but not because this is a set, but because this set is not an element within this set. It's possible to have sets of sets, which we'll see in part D, but this specific set is not an element of this set. Now, two is an element of this set, but this is not the element two. This is the set containing the element two, which is a different type of object. For part D, here we have the set containing three lies in this set, which contains three elements. The first element is the element one. The second element is a set containing the element two. And the third element is a set containing the element three. So D is true because the set containing three is one of the three elements within this set. So this set containing three is an element of this set because it's one of the three elements right here. Part E is one an element of the set containing one. And the answer is yes. The set containing the element one has one element, which is this element right here. So yes, this element is an element of this set. For part F, the set containing two, is that a subset of the set containing one, the set containing two, and the set containing three? So there are three objects here. One object is a number, and two of the objects are sets. And this set right here is a set containing two. So the question is, is this a subset of that set? And the answer is no, because the elements in this set, which is two, is not an element of this set. Now, this set contains a set containing two, but that's not the same thing as the element two itself. So this set has the element two. This set does not have the element two. For part G, is the set containing one a subset of the set containing one, two? And the answer is yes, because one, which is an element of this set, is also an element of this set right here. It's the first element. So all of the elements in this set are elements in this set as well. For part H, is one an element of the set containing two objects? One object is a set and the other object is a number. One is a number, keep that in mind. So this set has two objects, the set containing one and two. Neither of those objects are the number one so one is not an element of this set. Is the set containing one a subset of the set containing one and the set containing two? The answer is yes, because all of the elements in this set here, which is just one, one is the only element in this set here, that element one is also an element of this set. It's the first element. And then lastly, J, is the set containing one a subset of the set containing one? And the answer is yes, because one is an element of this set. It's the only element of this set. So all the elements in this set are elements in this set. So that's true.
Anyways, I hope this clears up the difference between these two notations. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.